Is life chaos or order? Can we find meaning in the mundane? Jordan Peterson, a renowned psychologist, believes we can. Peterson, a professor from the University of Toronto, has spent his career delving into the human psyche. His work has sparked a cultural phenomenon, inspiring millions to seek out a more meaningful existence. Peterson's influence stretches far beyond the realm of psychology, making waves in the world of self-help. His rules for life are not just mere prescriptions, but profound insights aiming to guide individuals through the labyrinth of life. These rules, drawn from his extensive study of psychology, mythology and philosophy, are more than just guidelines. They are a compass, a roadmap, a beacon in the fog of existence. Each rule, unique in its essence, holds the power to transform lives, to bring order from chaos, meaning from the mundane. So are you ready to dive into Peterson's rules and perhaps find some guidance for your own life? Rule one, stand up straight with your shoulders back. Seems simple, doesn't it? But it's more than about posture. This rule, as simple as it may seem, is a metaphor for how we should approach life. It's about presenting yourself to the world with strength, confidence and determination. When we say stand up straight with your shoulders back, we aren't just talking about physical posture, but also about an attitude, a mindset. It's about carrying yourself with dignity and respect in every situation, a signal to the world that you are someone who is not easily swayed or defeated. It's about demonstrating that you are a force to be reckoned with, that you are capable and confident. Moreover, this rule is also about our interactions with others. When you stand tall, you're not just projecting confidence, but also inviting respect from those around you. You're communicating that you value yourself and expect others to do the same. You're setting a standard for how you want to be treated. This rule is a reminder to face life's challenges head on, to not shrink back in fear or doubt. It's about standing up to adversity, not letting life's obstacles push you down. It's about maintaining your integrity, even when times are tough. So remember, it's not just about standing tall, but also about facing life head on with courage. Rule two, treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping. Are you your own worst critic? It's a common adage that we are often harder on ourselves than we are on others. We push ourselves, demand more, and rarely give ourselves the benefit of the doubt. But is this the way to a fulfilled and happy life? This second rule suggests a different approach. What if you were to treat yourself with the same compassion, understanding and assistance that you would offer to someone else you were responsible for helping? Would that change how you interact with yourself? Consider this. When you are responsible for someone else, you want the best for them. You want them to succeed, to be happy, to be healthy. You extend kindness, care and help when they stumble. You motivate them, but you also understand their limitations. You don't demean them for their mistakes, but help them learn and grow from them. Now imagine extending this same courtesy to yourself. This is the essence of self-care and self-respect. It's about recognizing that you too deserve care, understanding and assistance. You too have limitations that need to be understood, not criticized. You too are deserving of growth, happiness and health. So don't forget to extend some of that care and kindness to yourself too. Scene script. Rule three, make friends with people who want the best for you. But how do you choose your friends? The company we keep is a reflection of who we are, or at least who we aspire to be. Our social circles, the friends we choose to spend our time with, have an undeniable influence on our personal growth and happiness. We are, after all, social creatures, and we thrive when surrounded by positive, supportive, and inspiring individuals. Imagine being in the company of friends who consistently push you to be better, who challenge you to step out of your comfort zone and who want nothing but the best for you. They are not just friends. They are your cheerleaders, your mentors, your support system. They celebrate your victories and help you navigate through your defeats. They believe in your potential, even when you doubt it yourself. But it's not just about having friends who want the best for you. It's about being that friend to others as well. The beauty of this rule is that it encourages a ripple effect of positivity and growth. One good friend can change a life and a group of good friends can change a world. So when you choose your friends, look beyond the surface. Look for those who inspire you, who challenge you, who make you laugh and who stand by you in the face of adversity. 
Remember the company you keep can either lift you up or drag you down. Rule four, compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today. Easier said than done, right? It's a natural instinct to look around us, to measure our progress against those of our peers. But this is a trap, a pitfall lined with insecurity and dissatisfaction. When we compare ourselves to others, we're often comparing our behind the scenes with their highlight reel. It's a comparison that's unfair and unhelpful. Instead, what if we turned that comparison inwards? What if our benchmark for success became our own past? This is the crux of rule four. It's about acknowledging that personal growth is just that, personal. Your journey is unique, it's yours. No one else's successes or failures should dictate your sense of self-worth. Imagine if, instead of looking sideways, you looked back. You saw the person you were yesterday, last week, last year. You noticed the changes, the growth, the progress. How empowering would that be? To see your own evolution, your own resilience. To know that every step you take, no matter how small, is a step forward. This rule is a reminder that the only person you should strive to be better than is the person you were yesterday. It's a call to focus on your own growth, your own journey. It's about celebrating your victories, learning from your mistakes, and knowing that you are enough, just as you are. So focus on your own journey, not someone else's highlight reel. Peterson's rules might seem simple on the surface, but they carry profound meanings. Each rule is a stepping stone, a guide to navigating the intricacies of life. And when seen collectively, they form a roadmap to self-improvement and personal responsibility. Looking back on rule one, stand up straight with your shoulders back. We see it's not just about physical posture, but about carrying oneself with dignity and confidence in the face of life's challenges. It's about presenting your best self to the world and in doing so, enhancing your interactions with others and your self-perception. Rule two, treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping imparts the importance of self-care and self-respect. Just as we would care for someone we love, we should extend that same compassion and understanding to ourselves. Then we have rule three, make friends with people who want the best for you. This rule underscores the significance of surrounding ourselves with positive influences, people who inspire us, challenge us, and encourage us to be better. Rule four, compare yourself to who you were yesterday, not to who someone else is today, is a reminder that our journey is unique and our progress should be measured against our past selves, not against others. It discourages the toxic culture of comparison and fosters a healthier mindset geared towards personal growth. In essence, Peterson's rules are not just about navigating life, but about consciously engaging in it. They emphasize the need for personal responsibility, for recognizing and acknowledging that we have the power to shape our paths. They urge us to actively participate in our personal growth, to seek improvement, and to strive for a better understanding of ourselves. These rules are not just instructions. They are profound insights into our potential and our capacity for self-improvement. They are prompts for self-reflection, encouraging us to question, to learn, and to grow. So as we venture into life's complexities, let Peterson's rules guide us towards personal growth and self-understanding.